He even took care of us 2021. He is going to take care of us in 2022 and beyond. Yes, he's going to. And, and I, I keep saying, since it came, it can also go. Yes, since it came from somewhere, it can also go. Praise the name of Jesus. So there is nothing that we start learning to live with it. Who is going to learn to live with this thing? We are not going to agree to learn to live with it. We are going to tell it wherever you came from. You can gather yourself and do what? And take off in the name of Jesus Christ. That's a prayer you must be talking about. Back to where? Back to. So wherever it came from, it must go back to send in the name of Jesus Christ. So don't agree to live with it. Praise Jesus. You see, you are very powerful. Your mouth is very powerful. I've taught you that the whole of this year. So don't agree to join the bandwagon saying we are going to learn to live with it. We are not going to learn to live with nothing. It came from somewhere. It can also pack its bags and go. Praise the name of Jesus. I want to, to thank the Lord for all of you who are here. And I want to give you your word for 2022. Burn as for son. We are not going to meet, but you know we are not ignorant. Ignorant. We cannot just enter 2022 like people who are unprepared. So as the Lord give us a word, because we know that Jehovah God, we are going to meet with your children in 2022. Hallelujah. And I want to thank the Lord for all the people who are here. Please take these words seriously because the Lord will manifest in your life. Hallelujah. The Lord will manifest in your life. Hallelujah. The Lord will do what? manifest in your life 2022. If you're writing down, start that and say 2022. It doesn't have a topic. Just write it down. 2022. The year 2022. Father, we thank you for this word. I pray that Jehovah God, you are going to manifest in your children in the name of Jesus Christ. When I asked the Lord and I prayed and I asked the Lord, what is 2022 going to have? The Bible says in Isaiah 43, don't write fast. Is what a my uh, minister Edwin taught us. When you go through the floods, I will be with you. When you go through the fire, it shall not consume you. So this word doesn't negate what you are going to face. It just shows that God is going to be with you. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. And we have continued to learn continually that we are not walking in fear. We are not afraid. Because he who created the earth, he who created the universe, the master creator, the master architect. Imagine he dwells inside you. And this week I learned something very profound, that because Jesus Christ dwells with me, he has to protect me. He is not necessarily protecting me. He is protecting the word in me. He is protecting the Jesus Christ in me. Buenas for son. I just thought that was profound. So God is sending angels, not because of you, but because of what you bear inside of yourself. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. God is going to do what? To protect you because you are the carrier of grace. Because you are the carrier of grace. Because you are the carrier of God. He is going to protect you. And I just thought, every time we send our children to the village... Praise Jesus, what to urban areas, what to Nairobi, sana. You like sending your children with the, the things they take. You send them with cereal. You know, you send them because your child is going to be in the confine of your mother's village and your mother's house, Ikonamukimo. So you make sure because your child will be there, sana. Because my child will be there, you make sure that when you're going with shopping, it has got wheater beaks, it has got sausages, because your child will be where? will be there. Now because you are carrying Jesus, God has to give you good things. God has to give you what? Good and wonderful things because you are the carrier of God. So you cannot be carrying disease. Even influenza has nothing on us. Even COVID has nothing on us. Praise Jesus. You are the carrier of God and God himself is healing. Hallelujah. So just go and remember that. That every time you carry your shopping because your child for one week. You make sure that there is rice. There is also you make, now you make sure that mrotu wangu apikiwe mchele anakulaga mchele. So it is the same with God. You are carrying His Son, so He is not going to make sure that when you unapikika na dunia sana. Praise the name of Jesus. So 2022, 2022. The Lord says this: You shall experience the Lord who does. The Lord who does. D-O-E-S. The Lord who does. The Lord who does. And if I was to finish there, that is it. The year 2022. You are going to experience 
the Lord who does. The Lord who does is the Lord who hears. He has ears. He is the Lord who sees. He has eyes. He is the Lord who speaks. He has a mouth. He is the Lord who remembers. The Lord who does, he is the Lord who hears. He is the Lord who sees. He is the Lord who speaks. And he is the Lord who remembers. You are going to experience God in those four ways. You are going to experience the God who hears. You are going to experience the God who sees. You are going to experience a God who speaks. You are going to experience a God who remembers. This is a year to walk in intense wisdom. It is a year to be very careful what you speak. Be very careful what you speak. Because the Lord who hears will hear and he will act. He will hear and he will act. He will hear and he will act. Isaiah 46, 11b. Please settle the children. Settle the children. I don't want the children going out again. I need them to sit down and listen. I need them to listen. Isaiah 46, 11b is your scripture for 2022. The Bible says this, NIV version, which I'll do even a poster for this. 1146 11b. It says, I have said what I would do, and I would do it. NIV says, What I have said, that I will bring about. What I have said, that I will bring about. I repeat, What I have said, that I will bring about. What I have planned, that will I do. What I have said, that I will bring about. What I have planned, that I will do. Has God said it? 2022, he will do it. 2022, you will experience God in a different and mighty way. And he said, I, the Lord, will do it. Whatever I have said, I, the Lord, will do it. He said for us to experience those four things about him, God who sees. These are the scriptures. Genesis 16, 13, Haggai called him Jehovah El Roy. Jehovah El Roy, the one who sees, the one who sees. So we are not going to operate as a people who think that God does not see. God sees El Roy, El Roy. Thereafter, Hagar used another name to refer to the Lord who had spoken to her. She said, you are the God who sees me. She also said, she also said, have I truly seen the one who sees me? You are going to experience a God who sees. When God saw what Hagar was going through, God advised Hagar about her matter. Second Kings 19, 16, the God who sees. The God who sees. The God who sees. So remember he's saying, I am the God who does. I will do. Hallelujah. I will do. Be ready for the God who does. Be ready for the God who does. Second Kings. Bend down, O Lord, and listen. Open your eyes. God has eyes. O Lord, and see. Listen to St. Charib's word of defiance against the living God. God sees. I want you to note these scriptures. You read them later. Daniel 9, 18 to 19. I'm not, I don't want them brought there. Just write them down, please. Daniel 9, 18 to 19. 
Proverbs 15 and verse 3. Proverbs 15 and verse 3. Psalms 33, 18 to 19. Write them down. Write them down. You're going to read them on your own time. And Psalms 33, verse 18 to 19. Psalms 33, verse 18 to 19. And please put for us up. Psalms 53, verse 2. You're going to experience the God. The God who sees. The God who sees. What a wonderful promise that God sees me. That I, who am I that God would see me? That God would see me out of the seven billion or more walking around the eye, the earth, God is seeing you. The Bible says in Psalms 53 verse 2, God looks down from heaven on the entire human race. He looks to see if anyone is truly wise, if anyone seeks God. God is going to look and see if you're seeking him. You need to seek God more than ever before in the year of 2022. The God who sees. God looks down from heaven on the entire human race. He looks to see if anyone is truly wise, if anyone seeks God. You're going to experience the God who hears. You're going to experience the God who hears. Psalms 50 and verse 15. Psalms 50 and verse 15. You are going to experience a God who hears. Be keen to pray with understanding. Be keen to pray with understanding. Don't just pray. The other day I went outside my house and lifted my hands like I always do. And I was praying for money. One as for your son. And I lifted my hands. I said, God, give me money. And I felt like, what? That prayer didn't go. And I said, God, give me money. God, I want money. But the Lord said, no, you pray according to scripture. The Lord shall supply your needs. So God is not asking you to ask for money. What are your needs? So you take to God needs, not that I want money. Praise Jesus. Yes, we need to move with a lot of wisdom in this next season. A lot of wisdom. So instead of asking for money, put down your needs before the Lord. And the Lord will meet them in any way he wants to meet them. After all, it's needs I wanted to meet with the money. But can you imagine God can also send me somebody to meet the needs? So I may not need the money. So we're asking that when you are entering this new season, let us enter it with a lot of wisdom. The Bible says in Psalms 50 and 15, then call on me when you're in trouble and I will rescue you. And you will give me glory. Then call on me when you're in trouble. I will rescue you. Then call on me. Don't let people call God on your behalf. I want it to be a season where you call God. Call upon God. He is your father. He is your father. Call on him yourself. Call on him yourself. Let's just see Daniel 9, 18 to 19. I gave it to you before. You don't have to write it down. Daniel is calling upon God. Oh my God, lean down and listen to me. Open your eyes and see our despair. See how your city, the city that bears your name, lies in ruins. We make this plea. So the Bible is saying, oh my God, lean and listen. God hears. God hears. We serve a God who hears. In 2022, he will surprise you. You will ask, and he's going to answer, because he hears. Hezekiah also called upon him. In 2 Kings 19, 16, he called him and said, I cannot go, I cannot die. I'm not going anywhere. Hmm? I'm not going anywhere. Let me give you the right word. The one for, for Isaiah, it's Isaiah 38. Isaiah 38, sorry. Hezekiah also called upon God. He was told his time is up. But because he knew he serves a God who hears, he called on God. One, two, three. Isaiah 38. Isaiah 38. The God who hears. The God who hears. The God who hears. If you don't have it, you can move. Hallelujah. I told you you are going to experience the God who sees. The God who hears. The God who speaks. 
the God who speaks. Genesis 1, 3, and 6. Genesis 1, verse 3. Okay, let's go to that one. Thank you, thank you. Isaiah 38. About that time, Hezekiah became deathly ill, and the prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, went to visit him. He gave the king this message. This is what the Lord says. Set your affairs in order, for you are going to die. You will not recover from this illness. When Hezekiah heard this, he turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. Remember, O oh Lord, how I have always been faithful to you and have served you single-mindedly, always doing what pleases you. Then he broke down and wept bitterly. Go down. Verse 4. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord. Then this message came to Isaiah from the Lord. Go back to Hezekiah and tell him this is what the Lord the God of your ancestor David said, I have heard your prayer. The God who hears. The God who does what? Who hears. I have heard your prayer. Between when the prophet came and told Hezekiah that he was dying, um, the way those houses are down, they say between maybe a distance of less than 50 meters when Hezekiah had cried, Isaiah told, go back. So God is that close to you. God isn't that far. You know, we have this God who is so far in heaven. No. The distance between where Isaiah was told, go back, was barely 50 meters. Remember, you serve a God who hears. God who speaks. God who speaks. God who sees. God who hears. God who speaks. Genesis 1, 3, and 6. I'll give you the other, the other words. You go and study them. Let there be light. God spoke. And God said. And God said. Let there be light. And there was light. You serve a God who speaks. And if God speaks, then you should be doing what? If God is speaking, then you should be doing what? So the time to run around to hear anybody else is up. It is a time for you to start doing what? And asking the Lord, how can I hear you? How comes I do not hear you? Why don't I hear you? Or is it because of religion? Remember what you taught last Sunday. Religion has taught you you can only hear him this way. And maybe he speaks to you every hour, every second. Zechariah 1.1. 1, 1. Open Zechariah 1.1. 1, 1. This must be the year you tune yourselves to hear him. We must not continue seeking others to hear God on our behalf. That time must be over. Zechariah 1.1, 1, 1, in November of the second year of King Darius' reign, the, the Lord gave his message to the prophet Zechariah. The, pro, the Bible says, God told, God told Zachariah, God told Zachariah, God speaks. If God speaks, then we must hear him. Write down these scriptures. You are going to just open them later. Revelation 1 8. Revelation 1 8. Revelation 1 8. Psalms 50, verse 1. Psalms 50, verse 1. Exodus 20, 22. The God who speaks. You are going to experience, this is the best for me, the God who remembers. The God who remembers. The God who does what? The Hebrew word for the word remember is zakar. Z-A-K-A-R. Zakar. Z-A-K-A-R. It means to remember and to act. To remember and do what? To remember and to act. I'll go very fast. God remembered Noah and he stopped the floods. Genesis 8.1. So it is not just remembering you. No, 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 no. There's an action that is tied to the remembrance. God remembers you and does. First Samuel 1 19 and 20. God remembered Anna and gave him a child. 
So it is remembering and doing. Praise the name of Jesus. God remembered Sarah. Genesis 21 verse 1. And gave him Isaac. When God shall remember you in 2022, he will not just remember your name. He will remember and do. That's why he said he is the God who does. The God who will remember you in 2022. What is it you're going to put before the Lord? What is this that is going to make the Lord remember you and act about you? When God remembers us, he delivers you. When God remembers you, he rescues you. When God remembers you, he saves you. When God remembers you, he delivers you from bondage. When God remembers you, he repays you. When God remembers you, he restores you. So it is not just a statement. In Kenya, we like to say that. Unikumbuke mzea, unikumbuke. Yeah. But when you read the scripture about the remembrance of God, it has got an action attached to it. Remember me, Lord. Remember me, Lord. Remember me, Lord. Rescue me. That's what you're telling God to do. You're telling God, deliver me, rescue me, save me, heal me, repay me, restore me. You are telling God, 2022, it is my turn. 2022, it is my turn. 2022 is what? Yes, I want you to say that. 2022? Yes. Again? 2022 is my turn. Yes, it is my turn in 2022. I want us to pray over that word because that's the word of God over you in 2022. You will experience the God. The God who does what? Start. Hi, are you in the same class, all of you? Number one? Number two? Number three? Number four? All right, let's go together, all of us. Number one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to put your hand on your head. And you're going to pray for yourself. And you're going to say this 2022, Haita and Peter. Let me, before you do that, let me tell you what happens with Christians. A word like this is given. The bright one carries it and they enjoy 2022. Another one decides to be the one who hid the talent in the soil. At the end of 2022, they start blaming the pastor. But as you son, you are not going to blame me, Yoga. Me, I've given you the word. Now you are the one to work on the word. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes, work on the word for it to work for you. Otherwise, by the end of 2022, we shall have testimonies here. Mega testimonies. Because the Lord shall have remembered them. But now you might be in the crowd of the poor helping poor club. Hey, but most of us are wise. Is it most of us or all of us? All of us are wise. Amen. So we are going to pray. I want you, if you have to kneel down about 2022, you are going to kneel down. Actually kneel down. And ask the Lord all those things. May I experience the God who does. May I experience the God who speaks, the God who sees, the God who remembers. Whatever you want of the Lord in 2022, I want to ask you to do it. Let's all kneel down and ask the Lord about 2022. Speak safety, speak healing. I'll come around praying for you. Just don't be distracted. I'll come around and pray for you. Just go ahead and pray. Just go ahead. And, yes, you can come to the altar. If you want to come to the altar, you can come to the altar. You are free to come to the altar. You are free to come to the altar. You are free to come to the altar. May the Lord revive your spirit. May the Lord revive your spirit. You will not go through anything you are saying without knowing his presence so tangibly next to you. So tangibly next to you. Now you won't. Every step you will take, you will know you are with you are with God. You are not alone. You are not alone. Amen? Yes, you are not alone. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. 
Bible says he told Joshua, don't be afraid. Don't fear. Don't be afraid. I will be with you. God will be with you. Amen. God is going to be with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sing that. the children are with us. For us, we can continue worshiping, I tell you. I just feel, indeed, the presence of God is here. We don't take it for granted. When God visits you, when God visits you, we honor him and we love him. Amen? It's time to give. 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 Time to give. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for your gifts of love. That's why I'm here today. I don't take the offering, but today I will. Come on, let's put our hands together because and let's welcome you have given us gifts of love in this ministry. We have been able to meet our bills. We don't owe anybody in 2021. We are entering 2022 with a clean slate. Give a praise to Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. It is your gifts of love. And you know, we don't give according to the law. We give from the realm of love. Now, the realm of love is not where you talk about 10%. No. You give what the Lord requires of you. Above 10%, 20%, 90%. That's called the realm of love. The realm of tithe and 10% is the law. So once you fulfill the law 10%, you tell the pastor, Stafadali, to another next month, you lose the pesazingine. Praise Jesus. But we give from the realm of love. Give us Exodus 23, 25. I'll bless your water. I want to ask each of you if you can take an envelope. All of you take an envelope. If you have a prayer request, I would want you to write it there. We have two weeks before we come to church, back to church. We shall pray over your prayer requests. So please, I want to ask Shiro give give the grown-ups or even the children if they're enough give all of them envelopes I want you to write your prayer request and if you have a gift of love for this season you give I would want to teach you about giving once those who catch it and run with it well and good amen because where we are moving, it is the Holy Spirit who will be waking you up to tell you to give. One as first, son, till no longer be the pastor. The poor two Holy Spirit and a can be amka. Two my pesa rent ya imwezi. One as first, son. Yeah, that's where we are going. Because we don't spend 50 minutes talking about give, give, give. No, we should spend 50 minutes teaching about God. Give people envelopes. I would want people to write if you have a prayer request. We shall pray. I promise you, we have two weeks before we come and meet again. Three weeks. We shall pray. We shall pray. We shall pray for you. I promise. And I'm at the pulpit. I'm at the altar. So I don't take it for granted. We shall pray. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Exodus 23, 25.
The Bible says in Exodus 23 and verse 25, you must serve only the Lord your God. We are taught about stewardship by a very lovely lady called Zippy. Stewardship. You must serve only. So your gifts of love should serve God only. You must serve only the Lord your God. If you do, I will bless you with what? Food and water. So the Lord told me today to bless your water and bread. I actually had to look for the scripture because that's what I was told. Bless their water and bread. So I said, mm, where is that scripture? The Bible says, I'll bless you with food and water. And read that with me. I'll do what? Uh -huh. Repeat again, those who are writing. Yes. The Lord is going to bless your, your water. The Lord is going to bless your bread. You will not miss out on Christmas. Chapati utakula. I want to assure you. Chapati mutakula. In the name of Jesus. I speak prophetically. Hakuna mtu. Ukitaka kula chapati utakula in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says that he follows the words of his servants to perform. Did you know that? So when I say such a word, you receive it. Hallelujah. So I repeat. Those who want to eat chapati. Wakati wa Christmas. There is going to be chapati in Jesus name. Yes, and the Lord is saying he will protect you from illnesses. You are protected from flus. You are pro I thank the Lord that we are full house. I actually said, oh, my Father and my God, cover everyone with the blood of Jesus Christ, that nobody will come and say they are flus and influenzas. I don't know what they are calling them. Mara, they are saying akuna, then they are saying iko. You iko, ni kama akuna, akuna iko. The confusion is sister metuma so that they don't know kama iko. Ama iko iko, ama akuna. Bwana suwe sana. Kama iko, ama akuna, akuna, akuna. Where is the young man who got 300 marks this time? Where is the young man? Wila lipita kam. Kuja, come here. Come, we show them how we roll in this altar. Re mama za katala maza. So when I say that you receive chapati, you receive. Ukita kula mbuzu, utakula. Bwana suwe sana. This young man, this young man, watch our party testimony. Come here. Come here, tell them, tell them. 100. 100. Are you listening? Please, Tafadalini, listen to this testimony. How many marks did you want? Why are you getting? 100. One? Mumeskia? Arudie? Are you going to get 100. I last time, you get 246. Are you listening? 300. Hallelujah. Yes. You know, our children must go to good schools, not the schools where they are burning schools. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes, some things you have revelation. Once a kumbe atotoko na revelation. Umeskia kama mangu imechomeka? Uliskia alliance kama imechomeka? Uliskia kama gani nyingine? Kabara kilichomeka? Stare... Nairobi school ili chomeka? Uh -huh. So now, Kenya high ili chomeka? So where do you think you want your children to go? Where they are burning five domes and then they are pelting teachers with stones? Huh? So you have to pray for your children so that anapata maxio ya miatano. Amen. So that anaitwa direct. Takuna kutafuta tafuta. You know, ukianza kutafuta shule, lazima uneda kubribe mutu. Let me tell you the stories. Mini mepti uko kwa Ministry of Education. But I didn't bribe. I, I, I can stand and say I didn't bribe. But I didn't bribe. Nilipata favor. Na mutu atakapata shule. So pray for your children with understanding. Start telling God apana. Atuwezi peleka watoto wetu pali shule zina choma. Because it is a daimono that is where? In that school. We bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. How many marks do you want to get next time? 400. 400. So receive 400 in the name of Jesus Christ. And you will go to a very good school. Amen. When you go there, you will tell them it is God who has brought me here. Amen. God bless you and have a Merry Christmas. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Let's be, let's be thankful about what you think is small. That child coming from 100 marks to 240, what do you think it has done to his confidence? Yeah? Do you think in Taos has another shikika? Yes. He's the one. The elders must consult him. The elders must do what? Must consult him. Hallelujah. I'm taking too long. Now that Tracy Villa and Yangalia. Tracy. Now yes, he is our church secretary. We want to thank God for the gifts of love here. In this ministry, we have something we call Master Seed Basket. First of all, Lord, I thank you. 
we have not lacked. Even the time that church was broke, at least we were able to give for even just one unga. Praise the name of the Lord. It is the Lord. When the Lord has spoken, Isaiah what? 46, 11. When the Lord has done what? Okay. Hey, don't be afraid. When the Lord told me to start this and it was just after Corona, I was telling him, the accounts are zero. He said, the assignment is not yours. Start the master seed basket. I tell you, there has been an overflow, an overflow, an overflow, hey, and there's a party. Hallelujah. Munana party after this. Hey, this church, I tell you, we thank God. We thank God for every gift of love. Because when your gift of love comes, this is what we do. Somebody offered us this. It is called Uji Mix. It is Maramoja Uji Mix. I tell you the things I see. And that same person, aliongeza mpaka maziwa. So we added maziwa. Hapa kuna maziwa leo. Praise Jesus. Amen. Na hapa kuna mpaka unga ya chapu. See, I'm prophetic. <laughs> yes. Hapa kuna unga ya chapati. Kwa hivyo yule atabiba atakula chapu. Yes. Praise Jesus. Father, we thank you for these gifts of love. We thank you from the hands that give. I pray that, Lord, they will never lack in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Lift up your offering. Father, you told me to bless their water and their bread. I have experienced a God of favor, a God of care, a God of love. As they give to this ministry, I pray that they experience you in those ways. They experience a God who opens miraculous doors. A God who favors them. A God who cares for them. A God who will put them in places where they have never thought they could enter. A God who takes them and sits them in the tables with kings in the name of Jesus Christ. A God who promotes them. A God who elevates them in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them never think that giving in this ministry is a waste or a loss in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to their bread. I speak to their water. I speak increase in the name of Jesus Christ. My father, even before 2021, Lord, surprise them in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who are old, Lord, I am praying that debts will be paid. And those who owe, Lord, give them the ability to pay their debts in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who are here to sign some contracts, Lord, before the year ends, O Jehovah God, let them sign those contracts in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy One of Israel, we are praying that none will lose their money, none will lose their phone, none will lose their cars, none and lose their things in the name of Jesus Christ. Instead, only more can be added to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for your word in Exodus 23, 25 that you're saying because of our giving you shall keep us even from sicknesses and illnesses and diseases because our money is not going to be, to be eaten by hospitals in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to use our money to celebrate and enjoy even this season in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to enjoy our money with the needy and the poor in the name of Jesus Christ with the widows and the orphans in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you glorious father. We give you glory because in this church and this ministry we have not lacked even once. We have seen you Lord. We had a conference Lord you came through for us. We had an anniversary Lord you came through for us. Thank you my father because we don't have to manipulate man and you told me never to manipulate your children. You are going to make them give yourself in the name of your Lord, I have seen you. I have seen you. I have seen your faithfulness. I only want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I bless these children, Lord. They will be above only. Head and not tail. None of them will be tail in this ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even when they go to do their exams in, in, in next year. They will come out with A's, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, that is the, uh, the, the lowest that any of them will get an A in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you have told us to speak, to declare, and it shall be so as we are declaring in the name of Jesus Christ for the glory and honor of your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may give your gift of love at the, at the, uh, at the, at the offering basket there. After this, we are going to celebrate the birthday of Miles. Miles.
We are sorry for those who are going to celebrate Christmases when we are not having church service. Hallelujah. We shall celebrate your, your, your birthdays next year. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Miles. Don't get hit. Don't get, don't get hit. Don't get hit. And you have a friend today. Hi. Hi. Let us give. Let us give. Thank you. Thirty thirty account number two zero four three zero five ninety seven sixty one. Pay bill thirty 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 account number two zero four three zero five ninety seven sixty one. Those who are in school, if you wanted to, but I hope you have taken an envelope. I would want you to write what you want, what grade you want. We shall pray accordingly, and you shall receive as you have asked in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Nathaniel Mandika. Romandica? Joe, have you written? We both didn't write. Anybody who is doing, who is a candidate? Stand up, candidates. Candidates, candidates, candidates. Okay, okay. Candidates, stand up. Candidates, candidates, candidates. I'll make sure I lay hands on them. When you come to this altar, kneel and say what grade you want. So. Hallelujah. Watu wakuja waambie Mungu the great. Stretch your hands. Stretch your hands. One more minute here is okay. What grade do you want these children to have? We can only have A's. Yes. Sikuizi class 8 ni marks ngapi? 1500. Oh, haijabadilika. Kuseka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Form 4. Watu wa form 4 wote ni A. Okay? So this lady here is class 8. I'm going to say, I'm going to 400 and above. So stretch your hands. So everybody who is in class 8, we speak 400 marks and above, and they must go to good schools, and we are not going to pay any bribes in the name of Jesus Christ. They will be admitted in good schools in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for your sons and your daughters, my Father and my God. We are praying that King of Kings, those in Form 4s, we give you a nay. We give you a nay. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you a nay. Those in Class 8, we give you 400 and above. Who says you can't have your name in the newspaper? In the name of Jesus Christ, we agree in, the, in faith with your daughter. Is it your daughter? That she, Serena to get a nay in the name of Jesus Christ. Tell her to receive it by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, Mutu. Form 4. Stand 8. So we are waiting for three A's in the name of, four A's in the name of Jesus Christ. And we are waiting for two to have 400 marks and above. As we have said it, O Jehovah God, and agreed by faith, so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. These children will not be afraid. In the name of Jesus Christ, when they are doing their exams, they shall not be afraid. When the marks are being marked, there shall be the favor of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, the angel of the Lord will be right there in neck. In the name of Jesus Christ, marking for these ones. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever they think they don't know, Jehovah, you will stand behind them. Guardian angels, you will stand behind them. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will excel. Receive your A in the name of Jesus Christ. Let Serena receive her A in the name of Jesus Christ. Remama Zekariaba Zentaramayanda. Joe, receive your A in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your A's in the name of Jesus Christ. Rimama Zeke Tere Bayando Roboza and Nathaniel, receive your A in the name of Jesus Christ. Rimama Zeke Tere Bayando Roboza, receive 400 marks and above in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive 400 marks and above, and you'll be called to a good school in the name of Jesus Christ. And as for the others, wherever you want to go in the country, outside of the country, scholarships are your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Going to good universities in the, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we have agreed in that prayer. And it shall be so in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And all God's children say, Amen. Yes, come up and stand up victorious in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and succeed. Go empowered in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Please remember, we are looking for four A's and two students want 400 marks and above. It's a prayer item. In the name of Jesus. Manasfia, son. 
Amen. Now you may stand up on your feet and after this we are going to celebrate the birthday of Miles in style.